what's going on guys so I had um, a few people ask me you know in regards to the welder that I use and uh, I just want to do a quick little review and kind of set up and demonstrate or not really a demonstration but just more of um, how to set it up and how to get it going um, all right let's check it out <music> All right, so this is the actual welder that I use for pretty much majority of anything I'm going to be doing. This is the LE31 MP Link by Lincoln Electric. It is a multi-process uh, machine, so you have the capability of running, um, you know, your MIG, your TIG, uh, and also you can do stick welding with this machine. And uh, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory when it were in, you know, you have your voltage and then you have your speed, you know, your wire speed. Um, so first of all. You know, you'll open it up and you'll have um, all your diagram for, you know, <clears throat> what speed settings and your uh, your voltage settings for, you know, each type of welding that you're going to be doing. So majority of what I do is um, I do a lot of exterior outside stuff. So basically everything I've been doing with this is going to be a flux core wire, which is which is 035. It's not really focusing, but it's a uh, zero point zero three five, and which which makes this good for outside uses. You don't have to use any gas. You can run it straight through the machine with just. And this is a hundred and twenty volt uh, welder, so you can plug this into any standard outlet, and you got way more than enough power for you know majority of the jobs you're going to be doing. And that's the main reason why I use this this specific welder. All right, so first I'll just show you how to set it up for flux core, and then I'll show you how to set it up for um, solid core. And then I don't have the setup to run a TIG system on this yet. You have to buy the pedal and um, get the actual torch for it separately. I haven't purchased it. I don't plan on really doing a m much TIG welding unless I'm gonna be doing you know something where I need it to be really really clean and not have to um, I mean if I just run you know gas in uh, and I'm not running you know like a flux core on this it, it, it should be it should be clean enough for what I'd be using it for alright so you want to get your your reel on there if you're using a smaller one like this you know you don't need this uh, you can just take this off and then they'll, they'll fit these are kind of like what come with the machine this is a uh, you know mild steel solid. This is 025, so we're not using that yet. This is your inner shield flux core. Make sure you get it going so it feeds in the proper direction, which is clockwise. Sure, this doesn't unravel on you. And you're gonna feed it through this little spring here. You're gonna feed it right in through there, like that. And then you're gonna run it down. right here and there's a little wheel right there and then once you get it fed there's a throat of the actual you're gonna feed it right into that throat right there I like to get it in, just shove it in there a little bit to get it going, it started, and then you drop this down and pull that over. So once you get to that portion, then you can, you can adjust your tension. I'm going to start, 
I know what I usually run it at, so I'm gonna go all the way down to three with this. This wire is 035, so that's where I'm gonna start with it. And then we'll make sure you have this switch set flipped up for, this is <coughs> MIG welding. So we have it up. We're gonna set it for reverse polarity for flux core. So <clears throat> your actual, your gun is connected to the negative terminal and your, oh, your clamp, where you clamp it to your material is connected to the positive. And the reason you do that is because you want the material to be the hottest portion of your weld point, not the actual, you know, the welding <coughs> welding wire coming out of the gun. Once it contacts that, you want that portion where it's contacting to be the hottest point on the actual material, not the, 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 the wire coming out being the hottest point. You want the material that you're welding to be the hottest point. If that makes sense. I mean, that's how you want it. That's your, you'll have a lot of splatter and a lot of other issues if you don't do it that way. <clears throat> All right, so we're on. Obviously you have, you know, you can go through the different, different processes. So you got stick, you wanna, you know, so I'm gonna set up for wire. All right, so we're on. All you need to do now is spool it through actual tip so you're just gonna hold it down and you're kind of watching the reel as it's going and you can turn your wire speed up here so you can see where it's at now how fast it's spinning and then I'll turn it up all the way up to 10 See how, how much faster it's rolling. So it's coming out really fast now. All right, so now we have actual, we can see the wire out the tip again. So now we need to make sure we set our tension to where we want it to be. And the way that I always have or was taught is as you press the gun you take your opposing hand and you want to put your finger like this and hold you're going to put your finger like this and as you as you push it you want it to be able to spin that wire like that so we know we have good tension on this so see how i got that twist we know we're pretty good on our tension of, of where how it's going to feed now. So I'm right at about almost at four. I mean, I could bring it down just a little bit. So now you're pretty much ready to go and ready to ready to weld with this. You know, depending on what material you're going to be using. You know, obviously you're going to have to adjust it for yourself. You know, you're going to take your clamp, clamp it to your material, and um, yeah, I mean, you should be set up for your flux core. That's Base, the basic setup for a flux core welder. All right, so now I'm just gonna shut it, shut it down. It takes a minute to kind of <clears throat> totally go down. All right, so now, now if you want to go and switch over to say you know 0, 025 or whatever, then you're gonna the first thing you're gonna need to do is obviously clip this, clip this out, remove the reel. And then um, the second thing I guess I didn't cover is you have you have different tips for the end of your your gun, and you need to make sure that you have the proper tip. So this one's this one's set up for 025. This one is set up for 025 as well. So <clears throat> you'll have to change that. And that's all you do is you unscrew this, and you unscrew this. Right here, and you know you will go through these from time to time. If you get too close to your weld, you'll 
you'll weld the tip of this and then you won't be able to get the wire to feed out. So that needs to get changed over to one that's stated 025. So you notice this won't fit over this because the wire is too big. All right, so you're gonna clip this. Make sure you hold that wire. You don't want it completely unraveling. And then there's a little piece you can put right there. Unscrew this. Pop that out. Remove your tension. So you unscrew that all the way. And pop that over like that. And then you're just gonna take the end Pull all that extra wire out until it's completely out of the gun. And then you're going to put your, that's an 035, 025, thread that, thread that one on. All right, so I don't have a big reel, but I'll, I'll show you this small one. And you don't want to tighten this really tight. You don't want to have this to the point where you can't, it won't spin. So you just want to kind of loosely tighten this wing nut. This wire here is gonna give you a much cleaner weld. You're, you know, with the flux core you get slag and you have to clean it off, it'll, it'll, it, you know, it's you got a lot of smoke when you're using it, but it works really well when you're outside and you can, see, it's basically like setting up a, or using a stick welder with a, on a reel. The so same thing, but once you get to this point, you have to unscrew this portion here because it's a smaller gauge wire so the actual little wheel on here is a different this is a different thickness than this one so you have to it says 035 on the outside and then you flip it over to say 025 In there far enough. We're gonna, this one's probably gonna have more tension because it's smaller. So I'll start. I'll start at like four. We're gonna turn this on. Actually, you know, <clears throat> you need to make sure. I mean, this is one thing you need to make sure that you you're gonna switch your your polarities on these. So now. You're gonna move your gun to positive in your clamp. So gun positive, clamp is now negative. So now the hottest point of your is where the wire feeding out of your gun. Now th that's a big difference when you're gonna be running, you know, flux core versus solid. <clears throat> The screw back on. That's back on. Turn the power on. You're also gonna need you're gonna need to set up your, your gas for this because you need shielding gas. So that just gets screwed into the back. This comes with this whole this welder. All this stuff comes with this welder. So Get your hose connected, and then you need your regulator. 
and then you're obviously going to need a tank. So here's the tank that I use. This is 75 argon, 25% carbon dioxide. And obviously you're just going to thread your regulator into here, open the gas, and then you'll adjust your pressure, you know, to what you feel is necessary for what you're doing. You know, if it's if you have some wind, you're going to obviously need some more. Okay, so same setup. Obviously, you're going to have this connected to your tank. You know, then you'll be able to adjust here, you know, with, <clears throat> with how much shielding gas you're going to need. You know, this is going to go on, going to get clamped to your material. Then you're going <clears> to <throat> turn the machine on. Make sure you're set for wire. And then I always turn it up all the way once I'm first running it through. And you're waiting for the... Takes a minute. All right, so now we're good. All right, again, you're gonna to want to check, make sure you put your finger. See, I don't have enough. There we go. So that's exactly what you want. And I'm almost at the same as I was on the 035 wire, so um, it works out to know you can just set them both at the same tension, and you're gonna get the same. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be at the same portion for each one when you're, when you're running this wire. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much it for anyone trying to run this specific welder. It's the um, LE31MP by Lincoln Electric multi-process welder. You can run stick, uh, flux core, and solid core, TIG weld. It does all of it, everything. And it's all on 120 volts. Or, yeah. So, I mean, you're not having to connect it to a massive breaker. And uh, I mean, for me, it, it works for everything that I need it to do. Um, so if, uh, if you like the content, hit the subscribe button. Thanks, guys.